Hello, this is Rick Cortez. I'm CEO of Broadmark Asset Management, and this is the April 2024 update on the Westwood Broadmark Tactical Growth Strategy. And today I'd like to highlight equity valuation. Equity valuation is a long-term fundamental pillar. It's the first pillar of our process. It's less important in terms of short-term or intermediate moves in the market, but it is very important from a long-term point of view because it anchors us as to where we are in the market cycle. The first chart I want to show you is the median PE on the S&P 500 going back to the 1960s. And as you can see, it's not as high as it was back in the dot-com bubble days. It's not as high as it was a few years ago, but it's still elevated. Now we have room to move up in valuations. Nonetheless, the PE is elevated. The next chart I want to show you is a more granular look at the S&P 500. The top panel is the top 10 largest stocks in the S&P 500. And as you can see, the median PE of the top 10 is 2.8 standard deviations above the long-term mean. So uh, we are overvalued for the top 10 holdings. The bottom panel is the rest of the market. The median PE of the other 490 stocks in the S&P 500 is still 1.8 standard deviations above the long-term mean. So we would have to say that equity valuations are high and they lean negative. The second pillar of our process is investor sentiment, and that is decidedly negative. The last five months of uptrend in the S&P 500 has produced a lot of optimism. People believe that there's going to be a soft landing or no landing, and that the Fed's going to cut interest rates. That's negative in our work. Number three is monetary policy and credit conditions. And here it's neutral until the Fed cuts rates. The big positive has been momentum. We are long the market. We have a long position in the market, largely due to momentum. But we have one eye on the exit, so to speak, because of the fundamentals. We are an absolute return manager. We want to make money in every type of market. And we believe that we can add three things to your portfolio allocation. Number one, low correlation. We have a low correlation to just about everything in tough times. Particularly, we have a low correlation to long only managers, long biased managers, and other long short managers when the market gets rough. Number two is we act as a shock absorber. Those of you who know us for many years know that we're very, very quick to protect portfolios if the market gets into trouble, so we can cushion the blow of a declining market. Number three is that we have low volatility. The volatility of our portfolio has been about one half that of the S&P 500 over the years. The S&P 500 has been up five consecutive months without a decline of more than 2%. Now that's happened in the past, it might continue, but the odds are that there will be a correction. We don't know whether it'll be 2%, 5%, 10%. 10%. This might be a good time to look at your asset allocation and add a tactical component to it to cushion any blow of a correction in the market. So this is Rick Cortez. Thanks very much for joining me. Please join us in May for the next update. Thank you.